So we are given a polynomial function and we have to find its local and global max, min and saddle points if any of them exist for these range of values for x and these range of values for y and also make the contour plot using MATLAB. So here I have MATLAB live script and I wrote these already and I'm going to also post these in the description. So once you do that, you know, you press control enter and the graph will show up. Okay, it should show up soon. All right, taking a little longer. And here it is. So we are taking it to a bigger window. Okay, and uh, then here we are. And you can see it doesn't tell us much, but no problem. Let's just go ahead and do some analytical calculations and then get back to it. So first I'm going to ask it to just hold off and then I'm get, going to calculate the partial derivatives and uh, here they are. So these are the partial derivatives with respect to x and y. Now instead of working on these uh, analytically, that is solving them for, you know, the system for zero, zero. Uh, one thing I can see this here, like this equals zero and this equals zero, that this is a critical point. But for the others, let's just go ahead and use MATLAB. So first I'm erasing the writing. So we shall use graphical approach that graph these two functions in the same window by using the implicit uh, command. Okay, so here I wrote that up for you and here I'm saying hold on here because I want these two in the same window to be able to read the point of intersection. And now I shall say control enter and the graph will show up and here it does. So we can see that there is one critical point right here and there appear to be quite a few here. One of them is zero zero as we first saw. So let's just go ahead and zoom into this window to see the other ones, okay? So here, uh, first let me say hold off so that we can get a separate window there, okay? So now we I'm just uh, graphing it in the window here. So say control enter and then uh, we got our new graph and then here we have again zero zero is a, a, a critical point and then there are two here. But before we go ahead, let's just go ahead and make a contour plot. So for the contour plot, it will help if we get uh, a range of Z values. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do, uh, an easiest thing would be do this, uh, would be to do this. First of all, let me, I mean, this is the only way I may, you know to make it stop, like executing everything. So anyways, I did the same, I, I, I def used the same expression for uh, defining a function gxy. And then what I'm doing is, first of all, I don't have to rush, okay? So here is a point like say about 180 and here it might be say 35. So let's just go ahead and calculate this uh, function at say 180 and say, was that about 35? I said control enter so the value should show up and here it is so it's like a little over uh, negative uh, I mean half a million or 500 over I mean a little below negative 500,000 and then we can we can look around here so this appears to be say negative 5 negative 2 approximately so let's see what that value turns out to be so we will put negative five, negative two. All right, and I'm not rushing. You can fast forward me if uh, I test your patience too much. So that is also a negative value. So what we would do is that we'll take our Z values from say, you know, negative a million to say up to a thousand, all right? And we'll go in the increment of a thousand for the, uh, for the level list, all right? So I went ahead and I'm taking, yes, so as I said, negative 100,000 to 1,000 and I'm going in the steps of 10,000 and axes are the same. So let's see what it gives us. And uh, so here it is. 
Uh, so here is one point and the others it doesn't give us very well. So we know one, you know, one critical point is far out here and uh, then the other ones are in this area. So let's just go ahead and zoom the contour in this area. Uh, first, let's just go ahead and clear the handwriting. Now I'm going to bring in the contour plot near 0, 0. So you can see I have set the axes like this and I've also modified the level list. And if I say control enter, let's see what we get now. Uh, we get this right here. So you can see we have uh, a critical point here giving us a local or global man or min or max or and there are two saddle points here. Okay. So to just keep track of what we were trying to do, uh, I'm going to keep all these and then just going to go ahead and uh, graph this function. Actually, this is just way too much. All right. So I'm just going to graph this function to see the, uh, the, the local min that we had seen, you know, a little bit to the farther side. So, oops, sorry. So you can see that that or we can bring it here and look at it much better over here. Okay. That is uh, here is uh, that local min, you know, near x equals negative uh, one, sorry, x equals 175, y equals 35. Uh, and then there is a lot of action in here. And let's go ahead and zoom in for that. So let's just look at the graph of the surface near the origin so i have hold off and then here i wrote all that already for you okay and when i say con so what i did was i shrunk the window and here is the viewing window so let's let it come up it should so here it is and then i'm just going to open it here and you can see we can look at it much better okay all right so here is the other local men and you can see a uh, saddle point right here and there is another one here i'm not going to zoom in near that you can just do that if you would like all right uh, now we will find out the approximate values of the extrema and the points where saddle points occur and one of them we don't have to approximate that was uh, uh, at the origin okay so what i'm doing here is that i'm creating a function handle and I created this handle by using, remember this, we had gotten the partial derivatives, uh, where are they, right here. So I created a function handle, z at x, y, and uh, here is the first component uh, right here. That's the first component, and here I have typed in the second component. And then after that, what I'm doing is uh, this, that, uh, that, that that just keeps disappearing on us. Okay, uh, I'm calculating the the x y coordinates of the points. So one of them I took like say around negative four, negative uh, three. And actually, a good way to do that is just go ahead and go to the bigger window, and there you can read the coordinates. This is negative three point three, negative three. And this was the one that I wrote. Yeah, there is like about negative five. I think I wrote, what did I write? I wrote, uh, where is it? I wrote negative 4.7, but that's okay. It will still converge to the same value. And then I went ahead and look at the x, the value here. And I'm, but I don't know why am I saying 177, probably. Uh, I forgot to bring it here, here, right here. Yes, here it is 177.5. I said 177. So anyways, so once I do that and I press control enter, then what it would, and you have to have the optimization tool activated. So we say control enter, it should give us the approximate points there. And one of them I know I didn't ask it to do. That was that zero, zero. So here are the solutions for those points. One of them is negative 3.32 and negative 3.04. And the other one is this. And then here is the one that was like quite isolated. 
And what we would do now is that we shall calculate the values of the function at those points by using this uh, G format, okay? So I am just, uh, as I said, this works for me to just work in the command line. So uh, I just give those values that we just found. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is right here, the third one. And I'm saying double just to get de decimal approximations. So see, control enter, and then it should give us all the values. And here we are. So this is the first one, which is negative 109.4427. So that's a relative uh, minima, or local minima. And then uh, we have... What else do we have here? And then we have zero, zero, a saddle point. Okay. And then we have another one uh, at, uh, uh, at this one, just a second. Yep. At this one, I have a saddle point, negative three points so right here. We have one. And then uh, this is the one that we have here at negative 5.0064 and negative 1.6. And then uh, this is like negative uh, uh, 576,420. Uh, that's the relative maximum uh, minima that we had seen here. Let's see, we saw so many things that I'm losing yeah, here. I think it's right here. Yes, so that's the one that occurs at this point 176.42 and 35.44 so let me know if you have any questions okay